half hour with the man arrested and indicted for putting a subway rider in a deadly chokehold last month. Charges against Daniel Penny remain sealed following his indictment by a grand jury yesterday. Now we're going to learn the exact charges against Penny when he goes before a judge in just about two weeks. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu has the story. There was some question about whether Daniel Penny would testify in front of the grand jury in his own defense, but in the end, he did not. And after the indictment, his legal team says that while they are saddened by the loss of life, Daniel Penny's actions here at this subway station were done to protect himself and others on the train. The case against the man arrested for putting a subway rider in a deadly chokehold is moving forward. A grand jury indicted Daniel Penny. The charge is sealed until his arraignment, but he's likely facing one charge of second degree manslaughter, which carries a maximum of 15 years in prison, and another charge for criminally negligent homicide, which could mean four years behind bars. Some people say I was trying to choke him to death, which is also not true. I was trying to restrain him. Uh, you can see in the video, there's a clear rise and fall of his chest, indicating that he's breathing. That's the 24-year-old former Marine telling his story in video sent out by his legal team ahead of the indictment. Penny maintaining he intervened when 30-year-old Jordan Neely started harassing people on the F train in Lower Manhattan. Neely was homeless and had a history of mental illness. Following the indictment, the attorneys for Neely's family release a statement that reads in part, Penny's indictment is the right result for the wrong he committed. At some point, Mr. Penny should have let go before Jordan died. Meanwhile, Penny's attorneys say they plan to aggressively defend their client. They also say the standard of proof in a grand jury is low and that there has been no finding of wrongdoing.